I gotta go. I gotta put these glasses on. I like these. These are like the glasses that uh, that actor uh, Sasha Baron Cohen when he was doing that when he was doing that Ali G stuff, and uh, he was wearing stuff glasses like this. Just Ali, but he dressed up like a rapper, and then or like a like a somebody from hip hop from the hip hop generation world, and uh, he would interview people. Like he interviewed Luke Cambridge one time, you know, and he really made these people look like idiots, you know, like that. But interestingly enough, I bring this up. Uh, because, as, as well as we all know by now, uh, the most famous person on the planet is uh, Donald J. Trump, um, and uh, I, you know, I've been following, you know, following the campaigns from the beginning. You know, Bernie was my man, and when that didn't happen, and, and these uh, people, these these DNC people, Democratic National Committee people, or Democratic Party people, you know, uh, put the shafts to Bernie from the very beginning and had this, so I just got hope, please. And so my, my ultimate, my ultimate thing was like, uh, Donald Trump, I, I'll, I'll get to Donald in a second, Donald Trump versus Hillary Clinton, hey, these, these are white folks fights, you know, I'm gonna stay out of this one. You know, so I didn't, I, and then I, I, never, I was gonna vote for Jill Stein, but I said, no, nah, I did that last time, you know, in 2012. Uh, uh, that was complicated, but anyway, but I just said, I, I don't want this system. This system needs to be torn down. It's as simple as that. So, so consequently, I, uh, you know, I didn't vote. My, my, my vote was a no vote. That's it. You know, I don't get rid of the system is my vote. Simple as that. I'm not partaking in this system. But to go back to the point, but I started following, following Trump for, for a bit. And the first thing I noticed, uh, not, I, I, I sort of filter out all that stuff because I know what the media is and you know when you hear the headlines or whatever have I try to fix some stuff. But I wasn't really paying it much attention. But um, uh, they played or on YouTube. They had uh, the, they had the allergy thing and him uh, when when he was interviewing Donald Trump. It was very interesting. Now the reason why it was interesting is because you could the way he did it. Donald Trump sat down, but instead of making making a fool of. He heard the guy, you know what I mean? He says, no, I'm not interested, that's it. It was like really cut and dry. He filtered it really quick, whatever happened. So I just said, no, wait a second, this guy is not, you know, what they say he is. Now don't get me wrong, you know, I know Donald Trump and, 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 and the Central Park people and whatever he did with that. But, you know, so I, you know, so I, that's one of the reasons why I just can't deal with Donald Trump. I like, it's like no, no white person, I shouldn't say that, no white officials, you know, when they get up there, they don't support black nothing. Forget it. Even when they say they support, they support black stuff. They don't do nothing for black people. So that was it. So that was and, you know Hillary. I don't want to get into all that stuff because, for instance, the, let me. I'm gonna, I gotta go back. I'm sorry. I have to say this. Like they would say stuff like, uh, Donald Trump's a, a, a racist. You know, I don't really use the term racist. That's sort of a nebulous term. A bigot. Bigot is, is a better term for me. So let's say, let me just change. So Donald Trump's a bigot. But I'm going like, okay. So you call people names. Okay, you have no power, whatever have you. Meanwhile, they were saying, well, Hillary Clinton, she's qualified, they did this, they did, they did, they did, they did. Now, I'm, 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 I was a well, resident of New York, especially when Hillary was, 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 um, was thinking, I, I don't remember anything that Hillary ever did, you know, for New Yorkers. She was first lady, sure, and she did, the, you know, the whole you know, rah rah for her husband, it seemed like whatever he was going to do. But I also realized, that when she became in power, real power, in other words, Secretary of State, um, they accused Francis Donald Trump and those people of bullying. And, uh, and, and just another side, sorry, it's another distraction. Ivana Trump, this is the new first lady, she says one of her main things is, is about uh, cyberbullying. Kind of interesting, it's juxtaposed. But my thing is, like, they say Donald Trump's a, bu a bully, but all the stuff that I saw Hillary do was bully behavior. A total bullet. She's a total bullet. That's what neocons are. That's what chicken hawks are. They're bullies. You know, they 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 think they have the power until you stand up to them, and that's what Donald J. Trump did. He stood up to the bullies, and I think that people actually saw that, and so calculations didn't didn't win. But here's what I really want to say. This whole thing is about one thing, especially after I saw that LG thing. That's what starts sparking. Oh, one more thing. And somewhere in the in campaign, I did, they had this thing about like there's this one. Uh, Area one, uh, I don't want. To, uh, let me not bring it up because. But anyway, if you if you could win the uh, whole election by just winning this one little district someplace, and it was kind of interesting the way they broke it down. But I won't get into that right now. I just want to say this. This to me is more than historic. It's hilarious, because this is like one of those things that you read in a novel. 
speaking about novels, I mean, if anybody just bothered to just check out, you know, any um, the, uh, 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 David Baldacci novel or any of these, 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 these Lee, Lee Child, you know, the, 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 what's that, the Jack Reacher books, whatever, all of these books has a, a, like a white guy coming to the day or, or whatever, 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 whatever. They usually have sympathetic black people in there, whatever have you. These are the things that middle America is reading. These are not the things that the hoity toity, you know, the East Coast or Left Coast are, are reading, you know what I mean? So it's really, really kind of interesting how who came out to vote and who didn't. Uh, I would have to say this, I'm so happy that black people, most, a lot of black people did like it and just said, okay, we ain't in this. It's white people, let them, let them deal with it. Now you're gonna say, oh, but things are gonna happen. Blah, blah, blah. Well, they may or may not, I'm not worried about that. Here's the whole thing about this, what I just wanna say right now. Sorry I had to go this long, explosive thing about whatever it is. And I, even, well, I won't, get, I won't get any more, let me say this. There is no one on this planet that has been, that has been for the last few months, that is more gangster than Donald J. Trump. You think about this. That boy, gangster. When I say gangster, it was, it was a couple of years ago they had that, um, that uh, where, the, where the press and the, and the politicians get together and kiss each other and they, you know, all the parties and they, they do this dinner and they crack jokes or whatever happened. And I forgot when it was, was it was two years ago, three years ago, whenever it was, <laughs> Trump, um, Barack Obama, you know, brother president, well, don't get into him right now, you know, he just was zinging Donald, but worse than that, the press picked up on that and they said after this, yeah, he beat up on Donald Trump, and you could, I'm going like, wow, I think I saw parts of that thing, I was like, you could see Donald sit there taking it, but I, how can I say this? He's from Queens. Now there's certain parts of Queens, Queensbridge Project, he didn't grow up there. But you know, the Bronx and Brooklyn gets all the play, the Bronx, my, my hometown. But you know, all of New York, Staten Island, Queens, Brooklyn, Bronx, Long Island, Strong Island, they are, they don't back down. And a lot of a lot of folks take grudges. And you could see Donald Trump says, Oh yeah? I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna take that job that you got. Of course, I couldn't get rid of him. And sure enough, just think about this. Here's, I think here's what the thing is. If I was a Donald Trump advisor, I said, here's what you got to do. Because Barack Obama ain't got no legacy. Okay, his legacy is crumbling. You know, I won't get into that. I'll get Barack some other time. All you have to do is be better than that cat. In other words, you can have a legacy. You have to, just like Bill Clinton, out Republican the Republicans, <laughs> all the gangster, the Donald gangster has to do is basically leave a legacy. In other words, out Barack or out Democrat to Democrats. It's kind of interesting. So I look forward to these next four years. And uh, the, the other thing is that everybody just needs to, to just calm down. And what you're supposed to do is do your thing. What's most upsetting about this, and get back to uh, Gangster Donald in a second, all these people protesting in these cities, you know, all around the United States, oh, Donald Trump, whatever, whatever. I wish those same thousands, tens of thousands, whatever it is, protesters would take their behinds to Dakotas, to North Dakota, to where they have that pipeline thing. Instead of protesting Donald Trump, you need to take that energy and aside from, you know, getting into your local school boards and like the local law and stuff, they need to go and support the, 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 the Native American Indians, the autochthonous people of this, of this land. That's what he needs to be doing. Instead of protesting about Donald's will, whatever he's raising, well, guess what? Right now, Barack Obama, well, the, 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 the Democrats, they done did the racist thing. They beat up on, on, on the original Americans. All kinds of stuff. They're allowing this to happen. So, hey. <laughs> That's not gangster. Gangsters when you can get tens of thousands of people. In fact, that's if, if 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 I were Bernie, I would say, look, folks, not only that, what we need to do is start all around. Here's my test. Everybody who can make it to the to, to, to help the North to, to help the American Indians and the Dakotas, get there now. That's leadership. <laughs> that's gangster. But anyway, so back to it. So so that's it. That's what I'm saying. It is really amusing. I mean, just somebody's gonna write a story about this. Somebody, someplace. You know, Donald Trump, one year, sitting in the, in the thing, taking all kinds of slings and arrows and whatever they call it, whatever it is, and then before you know it,
he got the cat's job and he's got an opportunity because he's got everything, is it, to take over. And you're gonna say, what about the Supreme Court? What about that? Well, black people, black people. let me say, but the downtrodden, because you know I try to get away from that black people thing, the downtrodden, we, by definition, we keep on, they keep on trodding us down. Let's see if we can, hey, we can't get down, the, the real downtrodden can't get downtrodden no more. This may be affect probably the, uh, the people right above the level of downtrodden, push more downtrodden people down, push more downtrodden people down. I hope there's so many downtrodden people that downtrodden people finally wake up and say, hey, this ain't working. Smash the system. So we, can be, we got a gangster in charge. Now our job is to be gangsters. That's what I'm going to be. That would be me, T, for the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I want to suspect. Gangster.